Hi, welcome back to Calls Gear. See, so today I've got something a little bit different. I'm actually going to do an unboxing on the camera. I've never really done a proper unboxing on the camera. So this are, as you can see, the DJI FPV goggles. I bought the Experience Edition, which comes with the goggles and two air unit and cameras. So I'm going to do, I'll explain more about that later. So let's have a look, because I can't wait to open this. So let's just open the box. Do we get in the box? Ooh, the goggles are there. Empty box. I'm presuming he's got the antennas, etc. 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 So let's just open this up. Now if you've watched my channel recently you've known this is what I'm moving into more than anything else now. So I believe this is the case and a set of straps so this is the bag for the goggles it's actually very thick and lined as well which was a surprise I didn't expect that you get a set of antennas your power cable USB cable manual etc so this is a strap for a head strap for your goggles let's have a look at the antennas you can actually put whatever antennas you want, I believe, on this, but we're going to fit the standard antennas, I believe they're all the same, so let's just screw these in place. Now what I do know, this sends and receives, this transmits and receives, so you cannot turn these on, I believe, without the antennas. Otherwise, you're going to blow the unit inside here. So the reason I went for these is because nowadays if you go for a set of, I didn't have, I don't have HDOs, I did consider buying them recently, but if you go for some HDOs, they're going to set you back by the time you've got that and the receiver for you, you're probably looking at another, probably 500 and odd pounds, you're probably looking at about the same price as this, admittedly the camera is going to be cheaper for what you want, but, so, let's just have a look at the goggles. So they are like a very hard plastic. There's not, they're not that heavy actually. They're, I thought they'd be more heavy than they are. You got stra there's these straps go on, which is metal, which is nice, and they're actually screwed in. Uh, you've got your adjusters here. You've got your cord button up here, I believe. A little jog wheel here. I'm not going to go through all this today. I just wanted to show you the initial thing and see what you get. Oh, but really nice, finished off. I like the finish on them. I am very excited about these, I'll be totally honest with you. I've seen quite a lot of videos now and uh, if with a little bit of a splurge getting these. So you have a power lead, it does not come with a battery and you can put a battery in your pocket, this is long enough to put in your pocket or you can get some kind of fitting, another fitting you can get now already for your strap, I'll put it in, I'm probably going to put it in my pocket. It's got an XT60 on, a very nice XT60 actually, very nicely finished off with no wires shown. So like I said, I bought the Experience pack which comes with two air units. Now. I'll explain why I got two. I was going to buy uh, a ready to fly quad. There's a few out now. Um, I fly do one and uh, I can't remember what the other make is. But what I decided to do was get this and build two. So the first build I've got coming up will be up probably in a week or so and that is going to be the Flywoo frame which has got, which is built for this so it's actually built for this air unit so that this will fit into straight into the frame and the camera mounts are made for this so if you didn't already know this is a 1080p 60 frames per second camera it's got an sd card slot in here and that's how it connects to beta flight so you connect this up to your f flight controller and you get this little wiring kit here so that plugs in there and you get these go onto your board so it's not that big a job. Now, the first one I'm building, I have actually cheated, and but, well I haven't cheated, I bought the Kakute F7 which has got a straight plug through, so one end into that, one end into that, and if you were having, if you were using their transmitter, that's all you'd need to do, but I'm not using their transmitter, I'm using my jumper, so on the board we're still going to have to solder on a receiver. Yeah, I chose not to go with the unit. Maybe I will at some point buy it, but if you don't have the, if you don't want to buy the, if you don't want to use your transmitter, want to use their transmitter, 
it just simply connects to this, it links to it. So you've got no messing around at all. So you simply put your flight controller connected up to your, to your ESC with a cable and then simply plug this straight into the Kakute and really you'll be off ready to go. Uh, obviously, as like I say, I can't do that because I have bought it. This is a 4S capable, so you're going to be careful what you put this on. Uh, I believe you can do something to make it 6S. But I'm not quite sure how that works yet. Obviously, I haven't just got this. And it, each one of these comes with two antennas. I don't think you're going to get out of the box. Let me just flip these box, this box open. Oh, it's a Krypton factor pull. Let's just rip the box. Just rip the box to pull it out. So, comes with two of these. These are your two antennas. And they simply flick into the back here. And obviously you need to be careful that these don't come out in flight. So you have one that side. Now they are flexible look. So if you look at the fly, um, if you're looking at the fly woo that I'm going to do, this this is the unit built to go in the front of this and these come out the side it's got some nice little gold hook you'll see it anyway you'll see it I'll have a when the bits come I'll show you I'll have a video showing you all the bits and how we're going to build it and probably do a build video as well on it but obviously the most important thing is how good do these goggles look so obviously you've all probably seen videos of how good this looks so this takes an SD card and then you can obviously record SD cards here you can record straight onto the goggles and unlike um, normal goggles you have a HD quality image a lot of people have said it's like flying a GoPro obviously I've not had a go yet but a fair praise indeed so that's the end of this video I just wanted to show you the gear so we've obviously got two of these and let you know what's coming up on the channel there's going to be quite a lot of videos with this I'd imagine so my intention is I'll build two frames with two air units and then moving forward I'll show you new frames as they're coming out and I'll probably transfer into them frames I'm not going to keep buying frames and air units every time I want to have two that I'm going to build with and then I'm going to keep getting the new frames so when new frames come out I'm going to review them and obviously motor combinations and stuff like that and we'll swap these between which is far more what the channel is going to be like now We're, I'm not, don't be confused by the fact I was selling, I'm selling my drones because I'm not selling them all I'm still going to do a camera drone, but I'm only sort of be very selective on what I do, and I certainly won't be doing anything that I don't really fancy doing. I'm still contemplating whether to buy the Mavic Mini when it comes out. I haven't made my mind upon that, but we think we all know that I probably will buy it. But at the minute, I'm a little bit undecided because I don't think it's got anything different. Anyway, enough of that. This is what we're talking about. So. I'll have another video up shortly on this when the frame arrives so I'll show you how it's all going to fit and I'll dry fit it and show you and then I'm going to do a video showing it how we set it all up. So thanks ever so much for watching, have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel, if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell, there's plenty more good stuff coming up.